tickle and tamponade or the loculated fluid or if for diagnostic purpose you have to take the tissue sample then it's better to do surgical drainage surgical drainage is done by sub zephoid limited sub zephoid thoracotomy right just sub zephoid you put a small incision and you drain it well and also you take a tissue sample is that right and you drain it as completely as possible then sometimes in very case, those cases where repeatedly you can say fusion keep on coming like uh, cases of neoplasia right and uh, you know that again and again a fusion will develop then you develop pericardial window what is pericardial window that you open this area and op op remove a piece of pericardium and open a window between the pericardium and pleural space so we also called it creation of pericardio pleural fistula pericardio pleural fistula is that right so in this case pericardial fluid is being formed but it is being drained it is continuously draining into pleural space and mediastinal lymphatics and pleural lymphatics all of those areas very large area keep on absorbing that effusion so risk of tamponade is not there am i clear so what was the first thing pericardial synthesis that is needle aspiration with leaving a catheter for drainage or if there, there is going to be a recurrent and you have to take a tissue sample or the loculated you go for surgical drainage is that right and if there is very recurrent and long term fusion coming and coming then you go for pericardio pleural fistula that is pericardial window then some cases especially in malignant cases we do pericardio disses i will write it down pericardio synthesis peri cardio synthesis then with drain then what was the second yes surgical drainage surgical drainage that is sub zephyd limited thoracotomy right these cases are done when recurrent or you want to remove as complete as possible or this loculated or you also want a tissue sample like diagnosis of tuberculosis then pericardial window pericardial window usually it opens in left pleural cavity right then you can also do pleurodesis 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 is in pericardial space you inject you introduce tetracyclines or bleomycin actually right bleomycin or tetracycline are the agent when you uh, push into this these are cyclorazing agent they irritate the pericardial lining and activate the fibrotic reaction and sphere fibrosis occur and that fibrosis make the pericardial layers adherent with each other and pericardial cavity disappears for example this layer and this layer they become fibrotic and they become sticky where the fluid will accumulate right so such cases especially in malignant cases to prevent repeated uh, pericardial effusion and tamponade risk of tamponade we can also do pericardio disses pericardio disses is a process in which uh, we are putting a cyclorosing agent in pericardial sac like bleomycin or tetracycline or any other uh, cyclorosing agent so that cyclorosis of cavity occur and there is no more cavity is then yes very good question uh, it can eventually do can develop not always but it can develop constrictive pericarditis but my friend I told you we are doing this case in terminal cases of cancer so usually they unfortunately most of the patient die before they develop the constrictive pericarditis right it is a sort of palliative measure in those patients which have very advanced degree of malignancy right in those cases we do it but you are right that uh, if you do over cyclorosis or over cyclorosis occur then you will get rid of uh, tamponade risk but you may end up with some sort of constrictive pericarditis you are right in that if patients survive long enough can you yeah we can use steroids you can use steroids to prevent what fibrosis and that we will discuss in lecture of constrictive pericarditis right okay 
देन वी कम टू द लास्ट रिजॉर्ट सर्जिकली रिमूव द पेरिकार्डियम एंड थ्रो इट समवेयर एल्स आउट ऑफ द पेशेंट बॉडी वॉट इज दैट कार्ड पेरी कार्डियक्टमी पेरी ऑफकोर्स यू टेक केयर ऑफ द फ्रेनिक नर्व राइट देर आर फ्रेनिक नर्व ऑन द साइड डोंट रिमूव दैम लॉन्ग विद द पेरिकार्डियम राइट सो पेरी कार्डियक्टोमी राइट दिस इज द लास्ट रिजॉर्ट वेन यू कैन डू एनी थिंग यू जस्ट रिमूव द पेरिकार्डियम सो दैट नो पेरिकार्डियल सैक नो रिस्क ऑफ फ्लूड एक्मुलेशन नो रिस्क ऑफ टेम्परेट एंड स्ट्रेंगुलेशन ऑफ द हार्ट राइट Uh, recently they have also introduced another method which is called balloon pericardiotomy okay that is balloon balloon pericardiotomy uh, in this case actually they introduced with a small incision here they introduce a subsified they introduce a small deflated balloon into pericardial sac and then they inflate the balloon and then pull it out while it is coming out it produces a larger window in the pericardium right so that fluid does not accumulate there and keep on draining into medial sternal structures and uh, pleural area so that risk of tamponade is reduced am i clear any question no question yes okay he is saying that uh, it's an emergency situation in remote village where there are no medical facilities available and someone some family call our doctor and tell that this is our man and he is having some dyspnea and tachycardia and he look neck veins are distended right and heart sounds are no more there so he strongly suspect there is cardiac tamponade and it's a very advanced stage and there's not enough time to come to the city and bring all these things and what you should do i'll say at least still if you can do pericardial synthesis you do it of course you will not do in a proper manner but at least you will find in your doctor should carry a box and in that box there should be at least a needle so right you push that needle in and even in with 5 ml 10 ml syringe in emergency to you try to bring the fluid out right so that i this is what i was trying to push in your mind even a small amount of fluid brought out will relieve significant relief in the patient until you can take the patient to better medical facility where we can take better care of the patient right plastic